What is LCMS? This video is a brief introduction to the LCMS analysis method. LCMS is an analysis method that combines liquid chromatography or LC with mass spectrometry or MIS. For those familiar with LC, it might be easier to understand LCMS as a method where the detector in the LC system is replaced by a mass spectrometer. LCMS is used in a variety of fields, including pharmaceuticals, food products, environmental, and chemical. Like LC, LCMS can analyze the compounds in a sample. So what are the differences? In general, LCMS provides better sensitivity than LC, and is suitable for the analysis of compounds at low concentrations. UV is typically used as the detection method with LC, but LCMS can even measure compounds that do not absorb UV. In addition, compounds are separated by their particular mass, so separation selectivity is higher than with LC, making it suitable for complex samples. On the other hand, LCMS uses volatile solvents such as formic acid and acetic acid, rather than phosphoric acid buffers and the other non-volatile solvents that are often used as mobile phases in LC. The following is a simple overview of the LCMS analysis flow. First, the sample is injected into the LC unit. The compounds in the sample are separated by differences in their affinity for the fixed and mobile phases in the column attached to the LC unit. The compounds separated by the column are then ionized in the mass spectrometer. The compounds are separated by the difference in their masses and then reach the detector. As a result, with LCMS, compounds are separated in two stages by LC and MS, so separation selectivity is dramatically higher than with LC, which makes LCMS suitable for the analysis of complex samples. So in practical terms, what can LCMS do? An LCMS analysis provides information on the molecular weights of the compounds in the sample. For example, this is the mass spectrum of riboflavin. Two peaks are evident, one with a hydrogen ion adduct and one with a sodium ion adduct. From this information, it is evident that the molecular weight of riboflavin is 376. In addition, with LCMS, the concentrations of the compounds in the sample can be determined. For example, if you wish to know the concentration of tryptophan in the sample. First, measure a standard tryptophan sample, and create a calibration curve. Then, measure the unknown sample whose concentration you wish to know, and determine the concentration from the calibration curve. Quantitative analysis can also be performed with LC. However, LCMS has the advantage that it can analyze a number of components simultaneously. In this example, 38 amino acids are analyzed. LCMS provides very high level of selectivity, so this sort of simultaneous analysis can be performed with a measurement time of only 9 minutes. An LCMS system is an effective tool that features excellent sensitivity and selectivity. It can be used for qualitative and quantitative analyses in a wide range of fields.